okay so in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can put your website on the internet one for free including a free domain name and this hosting provider I'm going to show you gives you unlimited features you have unlimited storage unlimited bandwidth so there's no limitation it's totally free you get a free domain name okay everything is free so far to, first of all if you have created your web pages and you're wondering how can a problem the internet for free so now uh, I have my web pages here which I have created for testing so what you have to know is that the default page that will be on the web on the web server which you load when you access your website you have to name it as index.html or if you are using php you also name it as index.php so this uh, file for let me try to open it and you see so it opens exactly like this this is the source code so if you want to check how the page looks like and run it then this is the page so this page the index page you say I'm going to approach the internet so first of all now open your web browser in the browser of your choice then type in the URL app.infinitefree.net like you see it then you open so by default you show you login and then you have to click on create account so I've already created an account I'm not going to create an, another account so since signing up is very it's very easy so what I'm going to do after creating your account you'll be presented to this page but you will not have this thing here where you see accounts and you're seeing create account right here you will not be having this so after creating an infinity free account you also need to create a hosting account so it's this hosting account that you use to upload your web pages now just click on create account so you will come step one choose a domain name so domain type if you have your own domain name and you know how to configure this you just you use it at this stage but now what what you are going to do i'm going to show you how to get a free subdomain from infinity free so you don't have to hustle now domain type choose subdomain as you see it's the default selected if you have a custom domain just tap this side so uh, continue the subdomain then the subdomain your uh, favorite name you can call it my youtube tutorial okay, my yt So after that, then I choose a domain extension. From these, have many domain ext extensions here. So choose any of your choice. I prefer using .rf.gd. So I click such domain. See if there is no one that is already using this. So if this, since this domain is available, now you can continue. So choose your account label and choose any you like label it tutorial then account username this is bgenerated automatical account password so you need a, a unique password and type in the password of my choice So you confirm that you are not a robot. After then you create account. See your account has been cre created with the username. So what you do, you view in current area. So 
to go back to the accounts list so you, you, uh, you see these notes here please note that you can take up to 72 hours when you do not start working everywhere but this will not uh, of course do not take that 72 hours in about five minutes it will be done so if you to know how that it is done you see okay your file manager will appear with a yellow icon so you can keep refreshing this page until i find it working so it's not yet on i'm going to pause for me and then i'll be back when it has successfully been created so i'm just back and so you need to do one more step for your account to be activated fully so now you go to the control panel click on control panel and leave it to load then here you have to approve just click on i approve panel will now load then you have access to your control panel so this is where you will be doing most of your things if you want to set up subdomains if it, or if you want to get SSL certificates for HTTPS they are provided for free I will also make a tutorial on that if this one works well for you you can comment and I do for you the tutorial so you can see the disk space they provide is unlimited so I haven't used any space already, I haven't uploaded anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, to get back. I'm going to log out of the control panel. So if I just close this tab right here, and I get back this side, and I reload this page. You can see now the file manager is active. So if you remember the domain name that we created, you can find it the control panel. Go to the control panel once can still have our online file manager have oh, okay subdomains and domains so if I check on my subdomains see there's no subdomain here so this is where you create your subdomain then when you get back This panel takes some time to load, some time to load. You need to get back to the file manager. Okay, you can also get the back get your file manager without using the control panel. If you have to get your file manager through this control panel, just tap this one and go open your file manager. So if you want to get your file manager using this side, then just click on the file manager and to open. So the folder which you use to upload your content, you open dot, you open this htdocs folder, and then here is where you upload your content. So I get out of the file manager. I need to get back out of this. Then we first test if our domain is now up and working. So this is the account. So let's test if our domain is up and running. So we click on, I'm going to add a new tab. So we test for our domain from here. Now this is the domain, subdomain which we created for our website. Then we try to access it and see. Good. Now it's working by default they will uh, put there for you this page 
so this is the page that you'll be using to check if your domain name is working so what you have to do now it's to delete the to delete this page and we add our own so do that let's come here now we'll do that in the file manager so just click on this account open our file manager open our htdocs folder and we delete this index to html so just tap on uh, tap here then you click on delete confirm you can also delete this page this file click on delete confirm Okay, so the next thing now is to upload our index page. So click on this button, the upload is it's here. I'd like to upload a file. I don't want to upload a folder word. Just upload a file. Then I choose my, my default file manages downwards. Then I go here and I choose the default storage. I look for the folder where I have my web pages. Is it? Then I look for the index file here. So the index file has been uploaded. Now it's time to get out of the file manager. Uh, then I can go back and test. See so now if the index file has been well uploaded. So we have to put it in the address bar. Well, I think this is working very fine. So my page now is on the net, as you can see. So there's nothing hard to do here. Just a matter of following the steps as we did. It's totally free. And you have your web page on the internet in just a few minutes. So, if I would like not to use this file manager, because it may be disturbing every time open this file manager, uh, you can use an FTP client to upload files this to the to your website using FTP. So to do that, you now come to your control panel. And you, you get your FTP username and FTP password. That's okay. By default, uh, an FTP account will be created for you. So there's no need to create an uh, FTP account. So what, what you do, you come back to home. Uh, see account, need the FTP account. Okay, FTP details. You can see FTP username, then the FTP host name and FTP port, FTP password is just here. You just click on show hide and you copy. So what I do, come on Play Store and then you search and FTP. I read up the app install, but I just want to show you. So this is the app you need to it's the best i have been using so you just open then what you do you, you find it just empty you need to add your, uh, your ftp server so click on the plus icon then ftp host name come to your uh, infinity free then you copy this this is the ftp host name copy it Then the port is there 21. Username, copy it. And then the password. That's it. 
excellent mind i praise this guy showing us the password just this account is for this tutorial we delete it later so what we do then now move down enable resume support so that in case you are you are uploading a file to your website and the network fails and when the, when the network is back you are able okay the upload is able to continue so save you can name give it a custom name okay so the server has been added now what we do we open it just click on it and we start running wow so it has opened what you do go to HD docs folder and then you will find our index page so to upload files to your F to your account using FTP just now click on this device icon then to take you to internal storage or you can choose your SD card then you go to your folder where you have your things in store uh, your web pages saved and just click on the file you want to upload so hope that you will not disturb anyone then after selecting a file simply if I want to upload this file I just now click on this upload I upload button here then I confirm the thing will be done if I click back on the cloud it will bring me here so if you open our file manager that side you will find our file already exists so hope you have got hope you have understood this video and if you have any questions you can ask in the comment in the comments so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video if it has been of use to you and don't forget invite also your friends subscribe this channel so if you need any video or anything related you can comment on in the comment can mention what you want in the comments and we'll provide it so thanks for watching